Matthew. And this is Rich from Rageworks. Welcome back to Out of the Box, Into the Ring, Extreme Edition. That's right. We're continuing our look at the ECW figures from original San Francisco Toy Makers. And today, we've got a guy who is super and also crazy. crazy. That's right. Super crazy. Uh, the extreme luchador. Uh, an ECW favorite, later seen in WWF. The figure, much like all the other ECW ones, this one, as Matt said, Bash of the Brawlers line, has pretty much the same card, nothing too crazy, no pun intended, to differentiate it from the other figures. <laughs> has the full line on the back, includes the uh, ultimate ring. He comes with a very weird chainsaw accessory, which you can make of that what you will. And his move is the right bang. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait to... Be banged by Super Crazy. That's just not going to work. <laughs> no, it's not. So, yeah, I think we should just get Super Crazy out of the box and That's right. get crazy in the ring with him. That's right. Let's get to it. She bangs. So we've got our Super Crazy now in the ring, and uh, this might actually be one of my favorites in the line. I don't know if it's my favorite of all time, but this is a contender for, like, top ten for me. Yeah, I think Super Crazy, uh, the extreme luchador known for his amazing aerial moves. During this era, Lucha Libre was starting to really become prevalent in all three promotions. WCW had their Cruiserweight division showcasing some of the best, Rey Mysterio Jr., Psychosis, etc. Super Crazy was definitely Heyman's attempt at starting to grab that audience. And he had plenty of guys that could work the Lucha style, Jericho, Benoit, Guerrero. He tried so hard to get it to take off, and Super Crazy was the only notable high flyer that was always associated with ECW because yeah. his later career in WWF, <laughs> but his ECW stuff, always top notch. And he had some great guys to work with too. Like the, in the period that he was there, he was working a lot with little Guido mm -hmm. and with Tajiri. Uh, in fact, like, I think one of the first times I ever saw ECW on TNN, it was their three-way. That yep, they had. that's right. One of I, their many three-ways that they had. That's right. And that was just like, to this day, it's still an amazing match. Any, any of those three-ways with those guys, any matches with any combination of them is amazing. I feel that little Guido, even though he was always a comedy act, was super underrated in terms of just yeah. doing uh, really good cruiserweight style wrestling. Well, at that point, once Super Crazy came in, he was able to be more serious. He yep. was actually able to become a serious wrestler because he finally had guys to work with. A lot of people, they sleep on the fact that Super Crazy was through and through an ECW original. Yeah. Like, he came in, he had burst on the scene. I think nobody really even knew of him at the time. I feel like he may have done maybe CMLL or um, much. AAA, yeah. but again, ECW is where he really hit his stride. So this likeness is, I think, really great. This is yep. a top-notch likeness. I mean, this he even is, has a little chain, He does have patch. his chain, he's got the soul patch, I think the face looks like him. I think the body, too, looks like him, because he had that kind of, like, longer leg yep. body. Shorter you know, torso. Yeah, short torso, kind of, like, more, more on top, a lot less on the bottom. Yep. Uh, they actually got that, which, even though it looks almost kind of funny... In toy form, it's accurate to how his body looked. Uh, absolutely. It's a good representation of what, who, who he was. Yep. He got a uh, the old chainsaw accessory again. So the chainsaw's super, back. <laughs> so unless Super Crazy was chainsawing Tony Montana in the bathtub in Scarface, uh, an accessory that does not fit the character. Well, listen, he's <laughs> super and he's crazy. I think a chainsaw works in this case. Sure. <laughs> I am super. I am crazy. And, I mean, that's... <laughs> that, was his, you. that was his uh, That was his catchphrase. He would walk around and say that. I mean, I don't even think he cut a promo. <laughs> Not really. I think Super Crazy, uh, a slept-on ECW original, and a really solid action figure. I'm really impressed. So, in terms of articulation, he is very limited. Yep, super limited. Because he has that... Which super the Crazy is super bang. limited. Yeah, the stupid left bang name there. Yep. Um, which is right there. That's how that works. So, because of that can't do much else this arm can move which is nice uh the head does not move because anytime they got long hair the heads just don't move in general right. the heads barely move in these toys uh his legs do move but you know for a luchador he's pretty inflexible yep and there's the knees so you know i mean he can do some stuff but not the greatest articulation but also not the worst in this line no we've sadly seen worse <laughs> we have definitely seen worse costume is also really good very yep. nice paint job on the back it's got uh, raza azteca that's right did my white tongue butcher that? No, that's right. Rasa Azteca is correct. I didn't butcher that. That's good. Nope. It's got nice tattoos also, especially this uh, copyright-free Yosemite Sam. <laughs> that's right. Good old Yosemite Sam, barbed wire tattoo, textbook 90s. Um, another little detail, he has jewelry, he has the little chain on. I feel him and maybe the Raven figure had some jewelry on. Very few of them had like yeah. any sort of signature stuff, but super crazy he has his little chain. So in addition to the chainsaw, he also comes with some trading cards this time around. And in fact, there's Super Crazy's card right there. Yep, here he is. There you go. That's a deck of cards, him holding his own card. We talked about the cards previously. They're not 
good. <laughs> no, they're not good. One thing I noticed, though, which was interesting with Super Crazy's card versus the other ones, uh, the weight for Super Crazy is in kilos. Interesting. Not in pounds like some of the other wrestlers, which was a very interesting Yeah. Wonder jumped if, out. I wonder if Tajiri is like that, too. Do we have a Tajiri card yet? Uh, you know what? We might, actually. Nope, Tajiri is pounds. Interesting. So, for some reason, yeah. Super Crazy's weight, his stats are, his weight is in kilos. Well, that's neat. Yeah, I'm totally random, but cool. Nice little bit of fan service, because I believe that that was part of the introduction, I feel, for him. Was it random, or was it Super Crazy? It was Super Crazy. Ah, there it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and Super Crazy's in the ring. Let's see what he can do. Yep, Super Crazy has the, uh, the signature right bang. Terrible move name. Yep, make of it what you will. Uh, for a luchador, in terms of playability, you could probably do a few things. You could probably do, like, uh, maybe a power bomb, maybe. You try and pull off the crazy bomb, but you can't really cross his arms easily. Yeah, the crazy like, bomb. So, you could do the crazy bomb. You know, he's a high flyer, so any high flying stuff is pretty, pretty straightforward. I think we're going to maybe do a splash off the ladder, so... Ouch, you just there botched you that one. Yep, botch mania. We could put that clip there, but let's try that again. There oh, it is. There we go. That's painful. Definitely, if you want to do any high-flying cruiserweight moves, let's you try can do moonsault, that. Let's try moonsault, baby. Moonsault's everything he did. Yep, he definitely did do crazy moonsault, so old-fashioned manual play. There you go. <laughs> there it is. It's a good-looking moonsault. That's it. I mean, yeah, he did Hurricane Rana's, did Twisting Head Scissors, which we can pull off. I mean, yeah, like, yep. thankfully, because his body's a little bit slimmer, too, I mean, you can yep, pull you off can some definitely... of the crazy moves, which is kind of nice. There's some good maneuverability. I mean, unfortunately, like I said before, his legs don't move very high, which is yep. a real disappointment. But, you know, if you're smart about things, you can more or less pull things off. That's um, it. Let's see if we can do a springboard, maybe, too. Yep. Jeez, just botching everything. <laughs> is it Sin Cara or Super Crazy we got in the <laughs> ring here? I'm not sure who was in here. But now we need to, of course, do the most important thing, and that's use his accessory. Rich, yep. get the chainsaw. Oh, no. <laughs> the chainsaw accessory. Lance Storm, your career is over, and so is your life. It's time to make some Canadian <laughs> bacon. It. So, yeah, you could definitely do the, uh, oh my God. use the bang for this the... so wrong. <laughs> Why do they include a chainsaw? It's and just... not just once. This is the second figure that has a chainsaw. There's yep. at least, I think there might be one more that has it, too. I think you're the Balls Mahoney has it. You're probably right. Why? So, Why yeah. make a chainsaw? So yeah, chainsaw accessory for super crazy, uh, super detailed, no sure. pun intended, uh, really great figure, and uh, great for, for playability, that's for sure. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorites in line, like I said before, I'd stand by that. I think he's a top 10 figure. At some point, we're going to do a top 10 with all these guys, and I would not be surprised if super crazy made it on that list. Oh, 100%. Those other figures, so. I am definitely on board for that. So yeah, really good one, definitely worth getting. Uh, high regards from both of us here. Top-notch figure. Yep, we are all in for Super Crazy. So that's our look at original San Francisco Toymakers ECW Super Crazy figure. And until next time, I'm Matthew. I'm Rich from Rageworks. This has been another extreme wrestling figure unboxing. And stick around, we got a few more to go till we hit the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Ah! <laughs>